Those of you with green fingers will know the importance of having bees in your garden. These little guys are excellent pollinators and while they're going about their business collecting pollen, they also need fresh water. There are many different ways to attract bees and other pollinators to your garden. The more pollinators you can bring into your garden, the better for your plants, crops and flowers will bloom. One of the easiest and most effective methods of attracting nearby bees to your backyard is to create a bee bath. Bees collect water for various work and health reasons, so adding this minor feature will change your ordinary backyard into pollinator heaven. When you add a bee bath to your garden, you provide a vital resource for local bees. Although honeybees don't use water for hydration, they collect water to aid their digestion and keep their guts healthy. Bees also collect water in their wings to fan themselves in their hot hives. To make a bee bath, you will need two different sized plastic tubs that will be used as the mold, a bit of cooking oil and a paintbrush, a cup of key coat, a few decorative rocks to place into the bee bath, some builders 32.5 in cement, river sand and stone, a trowel, a pack of cement dye, and I've gone with the green. Now this is a really simple DIY, but I do recommend covering your workspace with some plastic or newspaper. It just helps with cleaning up. I'm gonna start by oiling my molds with some regular cooking oil, and this acts as a release agent and makes it easy to remove the molds. Now, remember to oil the inside of the larger and the outside of the smaller containers. So now the oiling's done, let's leave these and go outside and mix our cement. I'm gonna use one part cement, two parts sand, and half a part stone. I'm adding water and will mix the cement to a yogurt-like consistency. I'm also gonna add a cup of key coat to the mix. Key coat is an acrylic latex cement additive that increases water resistance, which is perfect for us as the bath will be holding water. I've also added a packet of green dye. This will give the cement a gentle green tinge and will give it a slightly more natural look. So now that my cement is mixed, I'll start by filling the base of the outer mold with some cement and agitate the dish to remove any air bubbles. Ensure there are a few stones underneath where the inner mold will sit. These will prevent the container from sinking to the bottom. I can then place my inner mold in place and I'm going to ask Kevin to hold this down to avoid it from floating up. Then using a trowel, I'll carefully add cement around the edges and remember to poke and prod the cement to get it to set as a solid mass and to help remove any air bubbles. I'm going to fill the tub with some rocks to weigh it down while it cures. Fill it to the brim of the outer mold and smoothen the cement off. You can even autograph your name at this point. Now, we need to leave this for about a week or so to cure properly and cover it with plastic for a few days. This slows down how quickly the cement dries and lessens the chances of it cracking. Now, I know you can't wait a week to see this, so I've got a bee bath that I made last week. Let's unmold it. Start by gently flexing the plastic containers and they'll literally pop out. Thanks to the oil we used earlier, we can then turn it over and tap the base a few times, gently does it, and the mold should slide off easily. All that's left is to place it in the garden and then fill it with water. Put some decorative rocks inside for the bees to rest on and at the same time create a piece of art for the garden and for nature. Remember, Builders has all the products needed either in-store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.